Hello everybody, I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D image in Facebook. To do this we're going to have to save your file under a different name so we don't lose any progress we've already made and I'm going to call this one artwork.png. You can also save it as a JPEG but it's really important we just remember what we've called it. The next step is to go and make it a grayscale image so to do this we click on image mode and then we click on grayscale. Now we've changed it into grayscale, we're going to go to file, save as, and we're going to call it artwork underscore depth. And again we can save this as a JPEG or a PNG. The next step is to now decide what we want to be in the foreground and what we want to be in the background. I've got a separate layer here which I saved earlier, which is just going to make it easy for me to select within the lines. So. I'm going to make sure I don't paint outside the lines and I'm going to paint this all white. This means that this is going to be right at the front of the picture and actually where the tree goes backwards I'm just going to make a very slight tint of grey in there just to push it back a tiny bit. Next I'm going to look at these rocks on my next layer which is a bit further back. For this I'm going to use the wand tool to select them. Once you've got them all selected I'm going to go for a darker grey which should push them back just a bit further and I'm going to colour these in. Now the background's obviously right at the back so I'm going to paint this completely black. When we have a look at it now we can now see that instead of having the colours in grayscale I've got how far back I want them in grayscale with white being first in the front and then as it goes through the greys it gets slightly darker towards the back and then black at the very back. And now we're going to flatten the image. We should already have it saved as artwork underscore depth Dot jpeg or dot png. Now we're going to click Control S or File Save and this will make sure that we've saved our new updated image. Once we've done that we're going to go and open Facebook. Now in Facebook we just, add, we just click to add our pictures in so I'm going to click Add Photo and then we select the first image which is our artwork.png and then we're going to add our second image which is artwork underscore depth.png and when we uh, put them both together, Facebook's algorithms should understand that this means we want a 3D image and it should put together a 3D image for you. Just write the little message you want to write and then click post. And there you have it. And that's how we make a 3D image in Facebook. If this has been helpful, uh, please hit the like button and please subscribe, it would be a great help. If I get enough people watching my videos, I'll invest a bit more money in the software and I'll hopefully make the videos a bit better. So thanks guys, and I'll see you next time.